let's look at another example so this is the question it says pq is a chord of length 8 cm of a circle of radius 5 cm the tangents at p and q intersect at t find the length tp now the figure for this question would look something like this now here let the center of this circle be point o this one and this is the chord pq now the tangents at these points p and q intersect at point t so if this is point t these green lines are the tangents now it is given that this length pq is 8 cm this length op is 5 cm and we have to find out the length pt now there are two ways of going about this question either we can use similarity of triangles or we can use the pythagoras theorem let's look at both of them let me first join ot now here in triangle tpq pt is equal to pq and hence triangle tpq is isosceles so triangle tpq is an isosceles triangle and we also saw in the previous video that ot is the angle bisector of angle ptq and we know that in an isosceles triangle the angle bisector is also the perpendicular bisector of the opposite side and hence if this point is point r this one right here is point r then we can say that tr is perpendicular to pq and pr is equal to rq because ot is the perpendicular bisector of the side pq in triangle tpq this angle is equal to 90 degrees and also this side is equal to this side we know that pq is equal to 8 cm that's given to us which implies pr is equal to rq is equal to half of 8 cm or nothing but 4 cm so this particular side is 4 cm now triangle por is a right angle triangle right angle right here at r and hence we can apply the pythagoras theorem to find out the length of or or square would be equal to op square or the hypotenuse square minus pr square this is by the pythagoras theorem and op square is 25 5 square and pr is 4 cm we just saw so this would be 4 square or 16 and this would be equal to 9 so or would in turn turn out to be 3 cm let us just assume that pt is equal to x and rt is equal to y now using the first method that is the pythagoras theorem let me see how do i find out the value of pt or x so let me just erase this so that we have a clearer view let's say in the first right angle triangle triangle prt in triangle prt right angle at r we have pt square is equal to pr square plus rt square that means x square is equal to pr is 4 cm so this is 16 and rt is y so this is y square let this be equation 1 and triangle pot is also right angled at p right here yes because the radius op is perpendicular to the tangent pt so this is right angled at p 
and hence we can write ot square is equal to pt square plus op square now what is ot we know ot is equal to or plus rt and we assumed rt equal to y and or we found out to be equal to 3 centimeters from the pythagoras theorem so or is equal to 3 centimeters so here i can write ot as 3 plus y so this is ot square is equal to pt square pt is nothing but x square and op is given to us as 5 square and hence this second equation would be 3 plus y whole square is equal to x square plus 25 let this be equation 2 now from these two equations i will find out the values of x and y so if i add these two equations equation 2 and equation 1 i would probably be able to eliminate x square from both sides so the left hand side would become x square plus 3 plus y whole square is equal to 16 plus y square plus x square plus 25 now see here x square and x square gets cancelled and what i am left with on the left hand side is 9 plus y square plus 2 into 3 plus y is 6y this is because of the expansion of a square plus b square plus 2ab is equal to a plus b the whole square and on the right hand side i would have 16 plus 25 equal to 41 plus y square again i see that y square and y square gets cancelled and i can easily find out the value of y from here that would be 6y is equal to 41 minus 9 or is equal to 32 which gives me the value of y as 32 by 6 and this is nothing but 16 by 3 after we have found out the value of y we can easily find out the value of x so if i substitute the value of y as 16 by 3 in equation 1 i would get x square is equal to 16 plus 16 by 3 whole square this would give me 16 plus 16 square by 9 this would be equal to 16 into 9 plus 16 whole over 9 and this is nothing but 16 into 25 by 9 this is the value of x square and hence x would be equal to under root of 16 into 25 by 9 or 4 into 5 by 3 this is 20 by 3 so the value of x is 20 by 3 and what was x x was pt and that is what we had to find out the length of pt is 20 by 3 centimeters now this was the first method where we found out the length of x using the pythagoras theorem let's see how do we go about finding the value of x by using similarity of two triangles let's start with looking at these two triangles triangle tpo and triangle por now here if you look carefully we have angle opr plus angle rpt as 90 degrees this particular angle that means angle opr plus angle rpt equal to 90 degrees and also since we know in triangle prt this particular angle is 90 degrees so the sum of the other two angles that is angle rpt plus angle rtp is also 90 degrees so we can write 90 degrees as also equal to angle r p 
VT plus angle RTP. Correct. Now from here, I can cancel out angle RPT and what I am left with is angle OPR is equal to angle RTP. That means this particular angle here is equal to this angle. So if I magnify these two triangles and draw them here, let's see how they would look like. So this is the larger triangle P O T and the smaller triangle would be this one P R O. So here angle P this one is a 90 degree angle in the larger triangle while in triangle P O R angle R is the right angle triangle. Also we just saw angle O P R is equal to angle R T P that means this angle is equal to this angle and by the AA condition for similarity of triangles triangle P R O is similar to triangle T P O. Now since these two triangles are similar we knew that P T we had assumed as X and we know that O P the radius of the circle is 5 units while this length PR we had found out to be equal to 4 centimeters and OR was 3 centimeters from the Pythagoras theorem that we had applied earlier. And since these two triangles are similar, the ratios of their sides are also equal. That means PR by TP would be equal to OR by OP. And once we have that, we can just fill in the values and PR was equal to 4, TP was equal to X, similarly OR is 3 units and OP is 5 units. And from here I can find out the value of X, that would be 5 into 4 by 3 or 20 by 3 centimeters as we had found out from the first method. So the value of x or the length of this tangent pt is 20 by 3 centimeters. I hope you enjoyed solving this example. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.